Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're experiencing a 1603 fatal error during an installation of an application has occurred on your Windows computer. So this can definitely be an annoying issue and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve that without too much of a hassle. And we're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, Best result should go back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now I will have two commands in the description of the video. Just copy the first one and then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit and then select paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard. And then you want to do that for the second command I will have in the description of the video as well. So paste that one in in the same manner you did the first one. And once that is done, you can go ahead and just close out of here. Something else I want you guys to do now is head over to the start menu. Type in services. Best result, should go back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to now go down in this list and locate the Windows installer service. and double click on it. Make sure startup type is manual and service status is stopped. Select the start option. Attempt to launch the application again and see if that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, restart your computer. And once your computer has restarted, something else we can do here would be to open up the start menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now, I would recommend creating a backup of your registry before you proceed. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create the backup, it is very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Keep export range at all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import back in from the backup, it's very simple too. All you have to do is select file and then import and then just locate the file on your computer or external drive. And again, very straightforward process. And now we're ready to begin. So double click on the HK local machine folder first. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Locate current control set. Double click on that. And do the same thing for the control folder. And then finally, there should be a file system folder. Just left click on that one time. Now I'm going to make this column a little bit wider here. You might be looking for something that says NTFS disable 8 DORT and then 3 name creation right here. So again NTFS disable 8.3 name creation. Double click on that. Change the value to the number 0 so numerical 0 and then select OK. Once that's done you can close out of the registry editor Restart your computer and then attempt to launch the application again and your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.